I see you have an eye for things. Gun's not just about shooting. It's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. The first magnum you get in the game is the Broken Butterfly. You can get this in Chapter 3-1. It can be bought from the merchant for 38,000 pesetas, but you can also find it laying around in the western castle wall, but you will need Ashley's help to get it. If you buy a fully upgrade the Broken Butterfly, it will set you back 493,000 pesetas. Fully upgraded, it has a firepower of 28, firing speed of 0.70 seconds, reloading speed of 2.33 seconds, and a capacity of 12 rounds. The exclusive upgrade takes the damage up to 50. The Broken Butterfly is modeled after a combination of the real-life Smith & Wesson Schofield Model 3 and the Colt Single Action Army Revolver. One useful strategy when it comes to using magnums and preserving ammunition is to upgrade the capacity when you need to reload. Doing this will save you from using up the magnum ammo in your inventory. The second magnum you encounter in the game is Killer 7. You can obtain this in Chapter 5-1. You can purchase this from the merchant for 77,700 pesetas, making it really expensive to buy. It will set you back a total of 333,700 pesetas to fully upgrade. And once you do, it will have a firepower of 35, a firing speed of 0.70 seconds, a reloading speed of 0.93 seconds, and a capacity of 14 rounds. This weapon offers no exclusive upgrades. The Killer 7 is modeled after a real life Colt M1911 equipped with an AMT hardballer style laser sight paying homage to the Terminator movie. Since ammunition is hard to come by for the magnums, you would want to save these weapons for the mini bosses or the main bosses. If you use them on regular Ganados, you are wasting bullets. The magnum will, without a doubt, take out every basic Ganado in one shot. Well, out of the two, my favorite magnum is probably going to be the Broken Butterfly. I like the old school look and feel to the gun, and also reloading it is just so satisfying. Killer7 does have its benefits, but I almost never find myself using it over the Broken Butterfly. If you are wondering about the final magnum in the game, the hand cannon, I already have a standalone video for that up on my YouTube channel, so check it out. I've already covered the pistols and shotguns, so up next will be the rifles. Stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Where's everyone going? Bingo?